taking inventory, I'd like to share with you a list of categories and invite you to write them down in your notebook. Health, finances, primary relationships, career or work life, creativity, social life, and nature or time in nature and invite you as well to take time to reflect on all of these aspects and ask yourself what's working in each of these areas and why versus what isn't working and why. Right? So taking just a moment to acknowledge aspects of your life and relationships that you have with these various aspects that are fulfilling and to make note of why they're working maybe habits or belief systems that support you to create fulfillment within these various areas and also honing in on what's not working and why you think something isn't working because as we start to engage in some of these self-awareness practices and exercises you can start to gain deeper insight into unconscious motivations around things start to note as you're doing the ego observation, different ways that you have emotional reactions to certain things because the areas of your life that are not working are going to be very much tied to the ways that your ego springs into action. And this expands one's self-awareness. And as you get to know yourself, naturally you'll start to make new kinds of choices and create new opportunities for yourself and maybe heal difficult things that are buried away that you may not realize you know, is affecting your ability to create or manifest something in a particular area of your life. So taking inventory is just bringing up content that then you can apply to some of these practices as we move forward. The more detail, the better. In terms of primary relationships, write down the relationships that you care about what's working, what's not working. Why is one relationship working versus another not working? Write down why you, what you feel you know, to be the case. Creativity, are you engaged in some type of creative outlet? Maybe your work is very creative in nature. Maybe you have hobbies and interests, but you're not fulfilling your desire. Why are you not spending time? in those areas. What's working, what's not working. Nature. Do you have a relationship with nature? Are you fulfilling that relationship? And if not, why not? Maybe you don't have any type of a connection with nature at all. Why would that be the case, do you think? So just the more detail, the better. The more content that you'll have to reflect on and apply to these other practices. Thank you.